Hey everybody, uh, <clears throat> this is Organic Dairyman and today uh, I just thought this had a little bit of time here so I just thought I'd quick show everybody our milking herd. Um, right now they're just kind of out here in the what we call the cows lot out here just uh, just eating. Um, in about a few hours here or so we'll be uh, getting them in to milk them and they're just kind of eating out of their feed bunks right now. Uh, this is like where we let them out just to, to eat and stuff and run around. And uh, yeah, um, we approximately have about you know, 50 cows that we're milking right now. Um, and of course you could see that they're all, all of our cows are Holstein. Um, we AI, um, all of our cows, and uh, well, they think they're going out to pasture right now, but we're, we don't, we're not ready yet to let them out there. Um, <laughs> um, maybe in about a week or so, a week, week and a half, we're gonna let them out there. We gotta um, go around the perimeter fence, but yeah, they think I'm out here and gonna let them out. So they're getting kind of anxious to go out and eat some green grass. Um, obviously, yes, since we're organic, our cows are required to go out and to grass. Um, in our location, they have to be out at least for about 120 days in our region. They, you know, they can graze more than that, but they can't graze any less than that. So, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, our cows do pretty good. Um, I think right now, uh, I don't know what they're milking right now. Somewhere, somewhere in the, you know, they're averaging about 60, 65 pounds per head per day right now. Something, something like that. It could be a little bit more than that, but, um, but yeah, they're, they're milking pretty good right now. Um, we try to take good care of our cows and, uh, <laughs> we try to uh, treat them nice. Uh, one thing, our cows here, they never go hungry. I mean, we always make sure we keep them full and fed very well. Um, but yeah, they think that they're going to go out to pasture. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just show you the pasture here quick. Um, this is like the gate where we let them through. Um, Here's another look at the cows, and you can see the barn and the silo there. And we do have a few white cows. Used a, a white carrier bull. They got a few, have a few white cows. They handle the heat a little bit better in the summer. <laughs> oh yeah, they think they're going out. You just have to wait a little longer. We'll, we'll be getting you out there soon. Um, yeah. Uh, this is where we will ha be having, um, letting them out here. We have, we kind of have a wide, kind of a wider alleyway here where we let the, the cows out. This pasture here is divided up and, uh, to, of course paddocks or sections um, one section like there's two sections that we let the the bread heifers because they have to go out to pasture too um, and then the cows they graze the bulk of the pasture here um, but yeah this here will be like the first paddock that they go into um, we got some clover, we got some red clover or white clover out here. Um, we did interseed alfalfa in with our, and we have some, I think it's orchard grass in here. You probably need, probably, you know, some spots are getting a little thin in here. We probably need to come in here and, and maybe no till some more uh, stuff in here again. Or maybe like try frost seeding some clover in in the spring. 
long time, but uh, it's, it's not too bad. This, this pasture's been pretty good. Um, the reason why, you probably think why we have a falf in here too, it adds a little protein. Um, it helps them, you know, produce a little bit more milk in the, um, in the summertime when they're out here. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this is their pasture that they, uh, that they'll be going out on. Um, it just, like, I mean, the grass is probably, I mean, it's pretty close, but we just like to get it a little bit higher. Um, just so that way they can keep up with it. Um, we don't, like, let them overgraze the pasture, but, uh, you know, we don't want them, we don't want them to, to graze it down too far, so we just kind of, uh, watch them when they when they get it grazed down far enough then we pull them off this paddock then we come in here and we we, uh, we mow it down to get all the rank and grass it gets like a new clean slate so it grows back up and they just come in here and they eat it so much better every time and then we just let the grass on the ground it just helps build up the organic matter in here so and obviously too it helps a little bit for if you get weeds weed, weed control to keep just started doing that I think it was 2013 2014 we started coming in here finally mowing it off it just seemed like it did so much better um, after that um, when you come in there and mow down the the grasses out here and stuff keep it keep it you know, mowed down but uh, yeah the cows they, they milk pretty good out here off this stuff um, but uh, yeah, um, hope we get them out here soon. We gotta, we gotta go around the fence. Uh, sometimes we have trouble. You know, we leave up like our paddock wires and stuff here. We leave them up all winter. And I see here we have a wire that's broke down, a paddock wire. The deer, the deer run through here and you know they knock stuff down and stuff. And I see the lilac bush, bushes have. Um, blossomed they always smell really good but yeah um, so yeah this is this is our cow pasture and, and so I just thought I'd just show you guys the milk cows because you're probably wondering why I haven't showed you and I just haven't gotten around to it so that's not today I just want to go do that so anyways uh, <clears throat> thanks everyone um, for watching this video like it please give it a thumbs